Hey guys, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. So we're back talking about uh, Sweetie and the whole Quavo situation. We have an update. You know, I've been so distracted with Jarek Action Jackson, child. But we have an update on Quavo and Sweetie. And let's just do this. So before we begin, please don't forget to like this video. Like it now, like it later, just like my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Jovi Beauty. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms. So please follow, please subscribe. And now, Let's talk about it, sis. Okay, guys, so we're back. Listen, 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 listen. The desperation of some of these fuckboys, a lot of these fuckboys, for women to be losing for a man to disrespect you is just completely overwhelming okay they were talking about how Quavo took Sweetie's Bentley let me tell you something first of all let me pop this up it is a lie okay I need to I, I need to put y'all on to game let me write this let me read this um despite uh, Sweetie sending Quavo back to the streets late last week. It doesn't mean Quavo took back the icy Bentley he gifted her for Christmas. The former icy couple confirmed their breakup via Twitter, yada, yada, yada. He, uh, people were talking about he took back the $350 luxury whip. Let me be very clear about something. And what separates a bad bitch from a bitch who anybody can do anything to. I knew that story was fake, okay, before this even broke. We're going to go back and we're going to look at some of y'all, some of them thirst bucket ass dude comments, um, and even some of the chicks, you know, because them build the bitches, okay, them build the bitches, them, you know, pick me assholes could never. Let me tell you why. Because if a man buys you a car, ma'am, ladies, ladies, if a man buys you a car, it should be in your name. Sweetie doesn't strike me. Shit, I'm not going to let... If you buy me a car and it's in your name, it's your car and you lending it to me to drive. You didn't buy me a car. You understand? Peep game. If a man buys you a car, the car should be in your name. He could be paying it. He could be all of that. He payments coming from him, but the car should be in your name and only your name because it's your car. He can't take back shit. He bought that car flat out, buy that car flat out and give me my car because if it's a gift, it's mine. How'd you look taking back gifts? What kind of shit is that? And the, 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 the glow of the men and the women who were just so excited at the idea of her being checked and her, you know, um, and her self-esteem, you know, and, and, and value being, being cut down by him even taking this car away. Listen, even if he was to take this car away, that doesn't change nothing. Doesn't change the price. It doesn't change the price of tea in China, sir, ma'ams, it doesn't change anything, okay? But again, sweetie don't even give me the vibes of, I'm here looking for the comments. Sweetie doesn't even give me the vibes of a woman who would be in a situation where a man can just come and take something back from her. Because you gotta, you gotta be a smart woman. Don't let things happen to you. Don't let things happen to you. Don't allow your life to be, you know, just again, just because somebody gifted you something, that's great. And thank you so much. And it's a gift, but you still should make common sense decisions. If a man gives you a car, you make sure that car is in your name or else it's not a fucking gift. It's not a fucking gift. Okay. Hear me go looking for, I'm looking for, 
I'm looking for some of these comments. I, I think people must have deleted it because they feel they might they might have felt stupid as hell after the fact. Hindsight 2020. The ghettoness of it all is so overwhelming. The desperation for this woman or any woman to do without because she left the man who was cheating on her blows my mind. It completely blows my mind how some, let me go look, Room of Quavo, okay, no, let me look on the shade room. It completely blows my mind that, you know, and it's not even just some of these dirtbag men because, you know, a lot of these men are just trash to begin with. <laughs> They couldn't buy it. They couldn't even buy themselves a car like that, let alone a woman, you know, and they want to, you know, they want to feel a way like it's their money. Like no backseas. How do you backsee a gift? Child, let me look for these daggone tweets. The shit is just, wait, hold on. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Cause I'm really about to pull this stuff up. Cause I want y'all to see how far some of these men went to just, um, have no accountability, but matter of fact, you know what? Let's move, let's move over from sweetie. Let's move over from sweetie. And let's talk about, uh, Carucci, Carucci. Let's talk about Carucci now. Okay. Cause I, 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 I meant to make a video about this today. So we might as well put all this shit together. Okay, I meant to make a video about this. So Carucci, she was with that baseball. He was a he's a baseball player. I think he's a baseball player for like three years, right? She was with him for like three years. And they just broke up recently. And she dropped, let me put this shit on screen. She made this video the other day and I was like, girl... Just a little PSA. Don't waste my time. Just a little PSA. Don't waste my time. Somebody in a comment said, Sometimes we waste our own time because we can't see the BS and still entertain it. But yes, don't come fronting and wasting my valuable time. See, the thing is, let me tell you something. This man was never going to marry her. What's his name? I forgot his name. Um, oh my gosh, what was his name? Uh, he's a baseball player. She's not talking about Chris Brown. She's talking about the last one she was in a relationship with. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember this freaking man's name. Uh, is she wrong? Nobody's posting his name. Anyway, it doesn't matter how gorgeous she is. I saw somebody say, oh, she gorgeous. She gorgeous, but she can't get no nigga to marry her. This is the thing. <laughs> she was with this man for three years. And I'm about to look up her, her boyfriend name. Something Karuchi Victor Cruz. She was with Victor Cruz for about three years. I knew they weren't getting married because it don't take a man three years to figure out if you're the one. I knew they weren't getting married when they sat up and were telling us that during COVID, he was in one place and she was in another place. Now, I don't believe she doesn't have no children. I don't believe he has no children. Why are y'all sitting up across the country from each other in lockdown and not locked down together? This is your whole man. This ain't a dude that, you know, you talking to or getting to. Like, this is allegedly your whole man. The fact that y'all were in lockdown separately and they would be they you know they wanted it to be a flex that they would be on the phone for like six eight hours a day ma'am that's not a flex because if that was a flex he'd have if it was a flex he would have he would have ship uh he would have sent the uh well he would kind of got on first class he'd have sent the jet you know how these boys do i don't know child he would have set a private jet to come pick you up to bring you to his house so y'all could have been locked down together for the better part of 2020 which you weren't Okay, people weren't out here making movies. The 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 he played baseball, I believe, right? Okay, if he doesn't, my bad. 
but people weren't out here having games. People weren't out here recording, recording television shows, doing none of that. And y'all were literally across the fucking country from each other, not seeing each other, not locked in together, not together. He didn't waste your time, ma'am. You wasted your time. Chris Brown with a bad mark on you and you should probably leave these celebrity niggas alone. You should probably go find you a nice lawyer, okay, who would like to get married and is going to put a ring on it. And don't waste three more years with a man who ain't shit, ma'am. Once you dealt with Chris Brown shit, the next nigga going to feel like he could do it to you too. You don't allow these men to disrespect you. No matter how beautiful, all that beauty don't mean shit. Because if you let Chris Brown do it, why, you, you know, why he can't do it? You let one nigga waste your time, let the next nigga waste your time. Make better decisions next time, ma'am. Don't waste your own time. So I'm done. You see the difference between a sweetie and a Karuchi? Child, I'm done. <laughs>